Territory management is a feature within Zoho CRM that will allow you to group your records. In the leads module or the accounts module, you can categorize your records by geography, for example, um, pretty much any field that you have within those modules. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your territory management. That's going to include rules that will automatically send, let's just say, new leads into their respective groups or territories. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is how your records will look once you've set up territories. When you go to the module, you'll see a drop down here that will allow you to switch between all territories, multiple without territories, or the territories themselves. Um, if we were to click on one, we will see we have five of them in the North Territory, four in the South, okay? What I did was I added that field to this view so that you will see it here. And that is just a simple edit. And then you would take territories and move it from the available to the selected fields. I am gonna give you a very useful tip. This is something that I like to do. I find it to be a lot more efficient and effective. I create a custom field for states. For any module in the CRM that has a state field, I will recreate it, put maybe an underscore under it, and then I will get rid of the other field because it's a freeform text field that allows people to enter in whatever they want. Um, that leaves room for errors so that people can, you know, misspell things and then you can't effectively pull that data back out and categorize it, group it, or in this example, set up territories. So this is the reason why you see the states in a drop down instead of a freeform text field in this example. Now let's go on over and create another territory for East. You're going to go to the settings and under security control, you'll see territory management. This is how you will set up your territories in the first place. And when you go here, you have the ability to create a new territory. We're going to call this one East. Make myself the manager. And you want to assign your users as well. Now from this screen, you can go ahead and set the territory rule up which is the same thing that you can do here. So I can either save this and then set up the rule or I could have went ahead and set up the rule right then. So for accounts, if the state, the billing state is, and now what I'm gonna do is choose just one state, which is New York for East. And then I get this message that asks or tells me that it will be effective only when the existing accounts are modified. I'm going to hit OK. If I um, wanted to force this, I'll show you how to do this in just a second. If I wanted to force the rules to rerun, we would use this feature over here. I would like to point out that right now we only have territory rules set up for accounts. As you can see, when you go here, that's the only choice that you have. However, if you would like to turn on territories for leads and or deals, then you can go to these three dots here and click on settings. And then you have the ability to enable deal territory rules and or lead territory rules. So now if I go in to create a territory, I can set up the territory and when I'm ready to add the rule, I can add it for a lead or for an account and deal. Now I'm going to show you how to run the rules. If you've made changes, you can force them to switch to the correct territory by running the rules. So we're going to click on assign territories. 
And I'm going to run this for accounts because I've made some changes. When, uh, for search accounts by, I'm going to choose territory. And then I want it to run on all of them. When I click on search, it's going to show me all of the records that fit that criteria and then give me an option to run the rules. It will let you know when it's done. Uh, the process can take a while depending on how many records are included. Once it's done, you will see a notification. And as you can see, this was successfully completed. So I'm going to go back to accounts and we're going to view the East Territory. And now we see that our record in New York is under the East Territory now. And that concludes our video on territory management. Just remember that you can assign your territories to individuals. Just make sure you go to assigned users and choose those users for that territory.